Democrat strategists are sounding the alarm that Asians are now abandoning the Democrats in droves. In this video, we're taking a look at the latest piece panicking over yet another voter constituency defecting from the Democrats. We're going to see that that abandonment is already losing Democrats their elections. And stick with me to the very end of this video when I'll reveal the number one issue driving more and more Asians away from Democrats and embracing MAGA Republicans. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you as always. And what do you think of the new Hangout? We're going to be gathering together here each and every day. And I got to tell you, it's as warm and cozy and inviting as it looks. And I can't thank you all enough for making this possible for me. You're absolutely the best. So we'll still be tweaking things around here a little bit, maybe adjusting the camera shot, get the best look, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just so excited to share it with all of you and our new library living room here. And this is our spot. You are most welcome here each and every day. Also, speaking of hanging out, I'll be at another American Freedom Tour event soon with Donald Trump Jr. And I cannot wait to give you the details and hopefully meet you in the flesh. More on that in the days ahead. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's dive right in here. I came across a really interesting piece on the Liberal Patriot Substack pack entitled The Democrats Coming Asian Voter Problem. It's a fascinating piece. It was written by a self-described liberal by the name of Roy uh, Tejera. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I'm sorry if I butchered it. Um, but he is a Democratic strategist, and he's sounding yet another alarm for the Democrats. According to the data that he's analyzed here, they're about to lose another major constituency, and that's the Asian vote. Now, it's no secret that the Democrats have been struggling of late with the Latino vote. The latest poll from the Wall Street Journal of Latino voters across the nation found that were the election held today, 44 percent would vote for Biden 43% would vote for Trump. Now, that is a totally unprecedented 50-50 split that promises a political earthquake in the next election cycle. We've already seen it in Texas, where districts made up of 80-85% Latinos have begun to defect in mass and vote Republican. So I think the last three or four elections uh, on the uh, southern border districts uh, have flipped from blue to red. And the major issue is illegal immigration. The exact opposite, by the way, what the mainstream media peddles every single day regarding the Latino vote. According to the mainstream media, the Latino vote overwhelmingly wants open borders. When in reality, the Latino vote wants border security, the very border security enacted by President Trump. Glenn Youngkin's win in Virginia included 55% of Hispanics voting for him, according to exit polls. And this was largely because Latinos are the most conservative demographic in the nation when it comes to things like abortion, school choice, and the like. And so they've begun in mass to embrace the conservative vision of civic nationalism championed by Trump and the rising patriot movement across the nation. And now this mass exodus away from the Democrats is starting to include Asians. And that's what this fellow over at the liberal patriot is freaking out over. What we're finding is that data from the 2020 election really did evidence a shift taking place, not just among Latinos and black voters, particularly black men, towards Trump and the MAGA movement. We also saw a significant shift of Asians towards the nationalist populism of the new Trumpian right. So, for example, one recent analysis of the shifting electorate in Queens, New York, found that not only is Queens becoming more Republican than ever before, but that Asians are a significant part of that shift to the Republicans. Quote, precincts where at least 50 percent of residents are Asian swung 12 points toward Trump. Again, this is back in 2020, which is the second largest shift among racial enclaves in Queens. Again, the movement was larger in areas that are even more homogenous. Precincts where at least 75 percent of residents are Asian had a pro-Trump swing of 16 points, over a third of voters now backing the Republican nominee. Now, that's a gigantically significant development where Asian communities, particularly those that were primarily Asian, right, 75 percent, are shifting towards Trump and the Republicans by a nearly 20 point swing. It's astonishing. And we're seeing this mass defection in all kinds of outworkings. According to the latest Pew survey, 
Asian Americans are abandoning Biden twice as fast as white Biden supporters. In the last mayoral election in New York several months back, the Asian vote swung 14 points to the Republican, Curtis Sliwa. Back in 2017, Bill de Blasio won Asian precincts by 34 points over his Republican challenger. This time around, Eric Adams won by only 20 points. So it wasn't just, it wasn't just a 16-point swing towards Trump in 2020. We're seeing a comparable 14-point swing towards the Republican candidate among Asians as well. And that was yet again confirmed in Virginia, where Asians who voted for Biden by 19 points in 2020 voted for the Democrat McAuliffe by only six points, representing again a double-digit swing from the Democrat to the Republican. So we're clearly seeing a mass exodus of Asians from the Democratic Party, and the question is why? What's causing Asians to exit the party and embrace Republicans? And the answer is rather simple in a word, education. The number one issue for Asians as a voting bloc is turning out to be education. Asians are, generally speaking, a highly meritocratic culture, particularly Asians who've emigrated to the United States. And they raise their children to think in meritocratic terms, most particularly as it relates to their education. Where, And again, I'm generalizing. Whereas the Democrats are pushing CRT, critical race theory, and the racialization of our schools and our curriculum which is radically opposed to meritocracy. And these two cultures can't coexist. They can't meld together. They're fundamentally opposed to one another. And when you have, when you have one culture that thrives off of meritocracy, all the while the other culture derides meritocracy as racist, inevitably these two cultures are going to clash. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening here. Asians are beginning to politically mobilize against the anti-meritocratic policies of radical Democrats, and they're doing so by joining the Republicans. You may recall right after the Virginia election, Democrat strategists began to freak out over this whole notion that the Republican Party was becoming, I kid you not, this is according to an Obama advisor, the GOP was becoming the parent party. Parents were flocking to the GOP. Parents, not conservatives, not ideologues, parents. Glenn Youngkin won 56% of those voters who were parents. Now, this shift alone has the potential of turning the GOP into one of the most massive political coalitions ever amassed in American politics. As the Democrats go further and further left in their warped vision of the culture wars, they are completely abandoning the political center, which we're finding more and more to be parents and most particularly Asian parents. And the more the Republican Party is seen as the party that represents traditional values like faith, family, freedom, meritocracy and the like, the more Asians are going to jump ship and join up with the Republicans. So it's really, really fascinating stuff. And we'll certainly keep our eyes on how things Develop, But there is no question, as the Democrats lose the white working class vote, as they have in droves, as they lose the Latino vote, and now the Asian vote, it looks like the Democratic Party really is dwindling into a political irrelevance faster than anyone could have imagined. Now, before you go, you definitely want to check out my latest video on some of the funniest woke fails ever it's going to start your off week it starts your week off with such a wonderful chuckle so make sure to click on the link and i'll see you over there god bless